On a high alpine tour, there are effectively two options for dealing with a fall into a crevasse. First, there is the companion rescue, in which companions haul the fall victim out of the crevasse. The other option, when you yourself have fallen in, is to pull yourself out using a self-rescue technique. If you want to undertake high alpine tours, you should master both rescue methods so that you are comfortable with either possibility. When you're moving over glaciers in high mountain terrain, it is very important to have a solid and frequent training in self-rescue and rescuing a companion. The safest method is without a doubt self-rescue using a Prusik. The self-rescue is made up of two phases. The first phase, using a Prusik to climb to the edge of the crevasse. The second phase, switching to a self-pulley system in order to haul yourself up over the lip of the crevasse as best as possible. If you have fallen into a crevasse and need to rescue yourself, you're going to need some equipment. This includes two accessory cords, carabiners, and, to make things easier, a rope clamp. The first thing to do when you have fallen and are hanging in the crevasse is to set up a body prusik or a personal anchor prusik. Depending on the diameter of the rope, this is done by wrapping the accessory cord two or three times around the rope and tying the cord off directly behind the prusik knot. Then, a carabiner is clipped in directly into the belay loop of the harness. The length of the loop should be adjusted so that it clamps tight at arm's length. It should never be so long that it is out of reach when you're on the rope. It also shouldn't be too short, otherwise you will barely move up the rope and stay more or less in the same spot. Once the first prusik is fixed to the rope, a second prusik, the climbing prusik, is tied below the first. Once again, this is tied using two or three wraps of cord, depending upon the type of rope. This loop serves exclusively as a stirrup for your foot and enables you to climb the rope. The technique goes like this. With your weight supported by your personal anchor loop, you push the climbing loop up until it reaches the upper prusik. Put your foot in the loop, hold on to the rope, and quickly slide the body prusik up again so that your body weight is immediately taken by your personal anchor prusik. Avoid wasting energy on the rope by loading your weight onto the foot loop. Then, little by little, make your way up the rope until you get close to the lip of the crevasse. The exception to this procedure is if there are brake knots in the rope. In this case, you then must repeatedly work around the knots, which makes the process more complicated. In this case, we recommend the use of rope clamps that can simply be placed above each knot. Then, Little by little, you can climb up the rope towards the lip of the crevasse. Depending upon the extent to which the rope has cut into the edge of the crevasse during the fall, you will either be able to pull yourself straight out of the crevasse using a prusik, or you may have to revert to a self-pulley system in order to get over the lip of the crevasse. A different technique that can be used to get over the lip of the crevasse is the self-pulley technique. The body prusik, your personal anchor prusik, is tied off just above you. Then, a carabiner is clipped in, which will redirect the rope later. Once you reach the edge of the crevasse, you can untie the climbing prusik and attach it to your jacket or harness. The third step is to set up a reverse lock in the form of a Garda hitch. To do this, you need your two identical snap carabiners. These are clipped parallel to one another into the belay loop on the harness. The rope is hooked through both carabiners, then brought up again and clipped, this time into just the forward carabiner, so that the rope runs out between the two carabiners. Now all you need to do is redirect the rope through the carabiner, which is set up above you on your personal anchor prusik, and then you're ready to pull yourself out of the crevasse using the self-pulley system. The Garda hitch serves as a reverse lock. I can pull the rope through in one direction, but in the other direction it locks. With the self-pulley system set up, you can now begin to pull. This technique involves pulling on the rope and simultaneously thrusting your hips upwards and forwards, so that with each pull on the pulley, your hips come up a little higher before being held again on the rope. When the prusik becomes slack, you slide it higher up the rope, not quite as far as before, perhaps 10 or 15 centimeters, and then you apply pressure once again, pull on the rope, and step by step work your way to the lip of the crevasse using the Garda hitch as a reverse lock. 
All members of a rope team, not just the leader, should be familiar with self-rescue techniques. These can be practiced on an indoor climbing wall or on a tree so that you are prepared when it comes to your next high alpine tour. Thank you.